the bad guy the bad guy will have to get destroyed then when the bad guy um, hits the player will basically be restarting um, the game okay so for to do this we'll basically have to um, write specifically for collisions um, just a reminder some um, two or three tutorials ago we had said each one gets a tag so the bad guys tag is three the soldiers tag should be one yeah then the bullet has a tag of two so all we'll be doing is basically writing code um, that just checks for those for those tags so in this case will come in this function uh in this in this we're writing in bad so everything is from the perspective of the bad guy uh because we're writing in this in this script so we'll say on collision enter okay so this is a function that you can use to um to, if you've enabled your collision like we like we did some tutorials ago um, if the function is if, if collision uh, if the collision manager is enabled then we can use the on collision enter to write code whenever a collision happens the moment a collision begins in this case um, this would be something like the moment the bullet hits the the bad guy um, in reality we know that it's the moment the bullets collider hits the bad guys collider so the moment that uh, that just happens all right so this is the on collision enter so here we'll have um, two, uh, two 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 things that will be passed in so we'll have other and self so self will refer to in this case bad in this case this is the bad guy and then other is whatever the bad guy has come into contact with so if the bad guy comes into contact with the bullet who will do something if the bad guy comes into contact with the player who will also do something so an easy way of 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 of, of doing this is basically just uh, filtering based off of the tags so we can say if other dot tag okay if other dot tag okay is equal to in this case what was the bullet the bullet is two okay so if other dot tag is equal to two it means um of course that bad guy has been shot by the bullet right yeah then if other dot tag is equal to in this case the player should be one players tag is one okay if other dot tag is one okay then um, they've hit the player so then in this case what we can say is here the bullet is the one that has shot the the, the bad guy so we'll say this dot node dot destroy which is basically getting read of the bad guy okay then later on we'll be adding a score um, as well but then if if we hit the player we'll have to reload the scene okay we'll have to reload the scene so in this case we'll come um, in here in the onload section and just do one prerequisite cc director dot preload scene we want to load the game scene in advance so this 
keeps the game scene in memory. So in this case, this is the game we are referring to, which is basically this whole scene that's loaded up, which you can see game.fire. Yeah, so this is the one that will have to be loaded up. So this will be load scene, okay? So let's try that out. See how it's working. Okay. So looks looks like it's working, but um, yeah, when it comes across this bullet, it's it's dying. So I'll put this bullet over there, and then we run that. Okay, so if you see, it's every time this hits the player, the scene is reloaded. But if I shoot, okay, the, the bad guy disappears, right? Yes, unfortunately, we won't do more complicated stuff like explosions and crazy sound effects. But um, yeah, if you're interested in that, I've got a, a course that does um, a 2D space shooter where I talk about animating uh, explosions and things like that while shooting the alien ships but in this one i'll keep it as simple as possible uh, so that we can move on as fast as possible this tutorial is already getting um, too long so just remember this is the only thing besides this that we've added so cc director load scene loads a new scene and then this uh, keeps it in memory so that we can load it. Of course, we can just use line 30 and it's able to work well, but line 45 is needed. Um, just, uh, it's better, it's, the best way I, could, I can say it is, this is best practice. You want to load uh, the scene in memory before you try to change to it. So this one is changing to the, to the scene, okay? Which is, in this case, just reloading the same scene. Yeah, then this dot node dot destroy gets rid of a node. And then we said uh, the on collision enter function is being used to detect when a collision happens. So the bullet itself, uh, in this case, we're writing in inside bad. So we're writing from the perspective of the bad guy. Okay. So in this case, self is always going to be uh, the, the tag three. So then what matters is what has the bad guy come across? So this is the other thing. So the bad guy has come across a bullet, then it's two. If the bad guy has come across the player, then that's one. So if the bad guy comes across the bullet, then we destroy the bad guy. If the bad guy comes across the player, then we reload the scene. That's all that's happening in this section. We'll be ending here. Throw a like. Throw a comment, subscribe, check you out in the next one.